George Zimmerman uh, was thrown out of a bar in Florida for his behavior and also some of the words he chose to use. Uh, here's a photo of him for those who don't remember from the Trayvon Martin. No, oh, yeah, is. that's him. Yeah, yeah, that's what he looks like. Um, Angel Benitez is the manager of the bar he was at, and uh, according to the Raw story, Zimmerman reportedly said to Benitez, the bar manager, I didn't know you were a racial expletive lover. Now, to be clear, Zimmerman himself is a racial expletive lover. He loves racial expletives. The racial expletive, <laughs> he said a word that's not quoted here. So you were a blank lover. And then when Zimmerman was removed from the bar, he claimed that he had been assaulted by a black man. Why wouldn't he say it? It worked for him before. Um, this is not the first time that Zimmerman has had an issue with this bar, and he was not the only one, apparently, who was saying terrible things at the bar. Um, and the bar wanted them banned, according to Angel Benitez. We don't tolerate any racial or bad behavior, so that's why we uh, trespassed him. Uh, and then Zimmerman had to write a statement uh, once the, when they were putting together the police report, and here's a quote from that. I want to press charges, says Zimmerman. The narrative on the front of this is true and correct. Officer Nickel, the officer involved, um, is an incompetent officer underqualified to flip burgers. So Wow. Why do they always have to insult fast food workers? <laughs> I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. Like, fl flipping burgers is just as hard as anything or yeah. whatever. It's not like... Yeah. Well, it... This guy's never done anything productive in his life, life right? You know, I mean, and and Jimmy, I like that you got offended at the, you know, <laughs> like the guy called the end lover earlier, right? It started a fight and like killed a guy, and you're like, you got to go insult fast food worker, yeah, <laughs> right? So, uh, so no, we've talked about this before. This guy is dying for trouble. Just it's like, please, please, can I get back into the national spotlight? Anything to get back into the spotlight. So I'm gonna say anything and everything I can to try to start a fight, try so, some sort of drama so I can get back in the news. Because if you're a George Zimmerman, you're going around calling people end lovers, right? Come, like, you, why don't you put up a sign saying, please punch me in the face, and then so I could pull out my gun, or we can, you know what I'm saying? So you could pull out your gun, so we can all get in the press, and oh, I need that attention so bad, right? And. I keep saying it, I hope it doesn't come uh, to fruition, but this isn't gonna end well, you know? You hope it doesn't? No, I hope it doesn't, no. Like, like, I, I, something... I just want him to stop and go away. Yeah. I, I, don't I wouldn't mind if something bad happened to George Zimmerman. I don't think, I think you could say that. Yeah, I don't <laughs> I wouldn't know. Mind. I, no, yeah. You're no, not but... telling, well. I hope he hurts his knee. <laughs> okay, right. if he has a mishap, a tragic bicycling accident, yeah. and I, twists his knee, okay. I, I hope he like... hurts his shooting finger. How about that? <laughs> okay, there so that go. he doesn't shoot anybody anymore. But look, the problem is he's going to take so many other people with him, let alone the fact that I don't want anybody getting hurt. But like, once he starts something, right, who's going to get involved? They're going to get arrested. He's going to get arrested. Somebody else is going to get right. hurt. He's going to get hurt. I mean, imagine if he kills someone again. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Neighborhood watch. Yeah, that's what they said. Then the the he was. Did they still refer to him as Neighborhood Watch because they that's do. one of my yeah. Pets. Zimmerman is a former Neighborhood no, he's Watch not. patroller. He was not a former Neighborhood Watch guy. He was just some crazy maniac with a gun who followed black kids around against the advice of the police. Yeah. That's who he is. He's a vigilante. He was not. There was no such thing. And by the, the Neighborhood Watch does not allow you to carry a gun. It does not allow you to follow people. That's against the rules of Neighborhood Watching. So that they can't and the, they can't help themselves. The brief, it's lazy reporting. And by the way, this is what entitlement leads you to, right? Outside of Zimmerman's race, and everybody loves to say, "Oh, he's half Latino, so it's okay. You can't criticize him." <laughs> what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. That's like the craziest thing I ever heard. Anyway, so he can't be racist or whatever. Okay, so no, it's about entitlement in general. So he used he wanted to be a cop, so he knew some of the cops. He couldn't make it because he's a loser. It's a classic loser thing to do, right? And, uh, but he knew some of them, and he pretended to be neighborhood watch. So they, when they showed up, there's a young black kid dead. They didn't do a toxicology report on Zimmerman. They didn't do a background check on Zimmerman. They did it on Trayvon Martin, who was dead, the 17-year-old kid who was dead, as if he was the criminal, even though he was shot and murdered. Okay, so that entitlement uh, allows Zimmerman to think, and then, of course, he got away with it, right? So that's I bring that back to this story because look at him insulting Officer Nickel, whoever he is, yeah. about how can he can't even can't even flip burgers because he feels like I'm entitled to everything. I'm entitled whenever there's an altercation, I, I've been told I'm right and whoever I'm against is wrong. It doesn't matter what I said, doesn't matter what I did, it doesn't matter if the 
the person who runs the establishment kicked me out for trespassing. Nothing matters because I'm always right. So that's that entitlement complex. And so now he's like, he thinks he could bully the cops around. First of all, what happened? I thought right wingers were pro cops. So I imagine you're against Zimmerman now, right? Okay. Uh, but that entitlement usually ends up poorly because then you come to find out one day that you're not really entitled to everything. Especially if you're George Zimmerman, he doesn't have any real power. He's not that rich, right? One day he's going to find out there's an end to your entitlement. His dad was a judge or something, right? Yeah, yeah, that's part of where he gets it from. Yeah. Like, you know, his dad. And he got away. He got, he assaulted cops before, and his dad got him off, kind of, right? Isn't that what happened, or is it connected? So that part, that story, I don't know as well. But I look, it, it, it's it's like what Michael Wood said to us. He's a former Baltimore cop. I interviewed him, and he said, "Look, we, we, even if we were assigned to white areas of Baltimore, we would go and arrest. We'd have quotas, and we'd go arrest." black people, we'd go back into black areas, even though it wasn't our area, to go arrest people. Because if we arrested white people, they might turn out to be a judge's son. Okay, then you're going to have trouble. He's going to get off, you're going to be the one eh, that gets in trouble. Black people don't have any power, so you go pick on them, right? So being a judge's son, you know, he probably grew up in a, again, he probably didn't even realize it growing up, but he has a certain degree of protection and, and privilege that he didn't realize. Now, then his privilege became very, very clear as he shot someone and got away with it. And now he's just running amok all over the country trying to cause trouble. If you look that hard for trouble, one day you're going to find it. The Young Turks isn't just us, it's also you guys. You make this show possible. And we want to thank you for it, and we want to grow together. We want to be too strong. TYTnetwork.com slash join. Let's do it.